in Chicago, we got two baseball teams. You don't have to go far to find your field of dreams. The north side has got the Cubs, south side White Sox. We hear a lot of good men stepping into the batter's box. Ain't no reason at all to hate those other guys. We all dream of warm summer days and sunny skies. Gonna wake up in the morning with my baseball cap. Have a cold bear in my hand, a dog on my lap. Play away, play away. There are 162 games must be played. Play away, play away. Maybe. Subway World Series in Chicago one day Magic Pro. This is the uh, sail away to Chicago. Arrange window. That's a pe that's a baseball song of Randy Newman. What you got there is uh, the, the top five tracks are strings. Then you got your Steinway piano going all the way across down there, and then you got two vocal tracks down there. The main vocal and a little harmony. Main and harmony now. You select the track you want to work with over there. Now that's right there, that's the vocal track. The main one. If you want to make it bigger, you go up to the auto zoom. And that makes any track bigger that you're working with. If that's how I want to go back to the piano, makes the piano bigger. I want to go back down to the vocal, make the vocal bigger. I don't need it right now. I'm going to get rid of it. Auto zoom. Automation, that's how you change the uh, volume. For example, now, see, I took the volume down here on a few of these tracks to get rid of some of that. Oh, I don't know why I did it actually. Oh, I don't remember. I think it's because it sounded bad when it was coming across. And then you can adjust the vocal. Certain parts you want to bring up, certain parts you want to bring down. But that's a whole other story for what you're talking about now. Now, get rid of automation. This button here, Inspector. Now, whatever track you have selected, I got the male vocal cream, male creamy vocals. Track 7. When you hit Inspector, that brings up a dialogue over there. This brings up the uh, side button, uh, left side here. I don't really use this stuff, but this is how you can do some things over there. I don't use it. There's other ways to do those things. Down here, it shows you the different uh, plugins or effects that are in use on that track. Channel EQ, and that's because I changed the channel EQ compression. Stereo delay ensemble, they were all pre-added to the creamy vocals. I didn't add them. In fact, I removed ensemble. Here's how I did it. I double-clicked on it when it was blue. And I got that. And then I went up and I just hit bypass. I bypassed it. Close it out. The other way you could do it is I could go to ensemble. Hit the left click and hold the left. I'm holding the left click right now. See, I hit the left click and I held it. And while still holding the left click, I moved down to no plugin. And that says goodbye to the plugin. It's gone. Now, you don't have to use the channel inspector to do this. You can get rid of inspector by hitting that. There it is. Now, instead, you go down here to Mixer. Mixer. I gotta click on it. Now, that brings up all the tracks. All the uh, plugins right here on every track. The send, the input, and output. Now, you got all your control down over here. Now, the reason this is down low is because I set the automation to start this track at zero. No, uh, infinity. So, it's, it's gonna go up on its own. It says read, read the automation. But anyway, here, as you see on the vocal tracks, I knew I wanted both of them to have pitch control. So I used the send. And I hit the send over them. The bus one. The way you do that is you left click and hold. 
and select bus 1. I was going to do that over here, I did. Select, go down the bus, and go up to bus 1. But I ain't going to do it, no send now. After you set that at bus 1, it's going to come up with an auxiliary track. It's your bus track, auxiliary 1. It's going to send these two vocal tracks to this track. And the way you do that is after you set this, you got to change the output. You got to change it from output 1 and 2. You got to go down to bus. And you got to go all the way up to bus 1. I'm not even going to do it right now because I don't need to change this thing. Keep it that output one. Going back to this track, she's already set it bus one. Bus one. So this sends it to bus one. This tells it to go to bus one. Apparently, that's how I look at it now. Read. Again, this read just has to do with the automation. It tells you that uh, those tracks have some volume adjustments on them. Now what I did is on the auxiliary bus track, I added pitch correction and uh, adaptive limiter. Pitch correction. Let's say I'm going to add it to another track right here. You go to an empty box. It's a plug-in box. You left click and hold. This gives you all your different things that you can do. But I go down to pitch. Pitch correction. And after I... And I'm all... I, I'm still left clicked on this the whole way I'm left clicked. Now I'm letting go. That brings up your pitch correction box. Now, it looks complicated, all kinds of things to change. I don't change a thing on this thing. All I do is I close it out. Now, in this case, I do not want pitch correction. I do not want it on my Steinway piano, so I'm going to left click and hold. While I'm still holding, I move down up, no plugging, and I let go. Goodbye, plugging. So, here I got the pitch correction adaptive limiter. I don't even know what that is. It's a limiter, and it works nice. This one here is my. I would guess that's your output one and two track. That's your track to come across. And on that one, I usually have found that putting this thing on there, multipressor. To find multipressor, you go down to dynamics. You got different compressors, multipressor. And uh, let's say you want to change the settings on that multipressor, which I've never done before. You want to change the settings, how about this? Change the settings on the channel EQ. Now if I double click on channel EQ, it would happen. I get this. This is my analyzer. And I'll show you what happened when I start to show. In Chicago, we got two baseball teams. You can change that uh, frequency by pulling on this. Go far to find a field of dreams. You can do whatever you want because all you gotta do is go hit this button, it'll go back to where it was. Compare. Stop. Now I want to show you something about this pitch correction. Where's that pitch correction? Going back to the pitch correction here. I'm going to double click it. You see there's a meter down here. And it shows you that it's pitching your correct. I mean correcting your pitch while it's down. Little sharp, little flat, little sharp, little flat, 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 sharp. I guess when it goes to the left, I must be sharp. When it goes to the right, I'm flat. 